box 1579, Beacon and Exeter Streets for number 298 Beacon Street. Box 1579 for 298 Beacon Street. How is it that firefighters run into a burning building when everyone else is running out? Courage is the answer. A massive fire on Beacon Street in the back bay. We are unable to reach Engine 33. Their last known location was basement. Only members of a brotherhood ride fire trucks. Stay off the front floor. Everybody get out. The of Beacon the Street front fire, fire is up to on seven Street alarms. In the back bay now up to nine alarms. Firefighters are still trying to battle this place. All companies get out of the building. All companies it started in the basement of the building and quickly went up. All the incredible sight to see thick black smoke. 30 years, I've never seen a fire in travel that fast and create such havoc. High winds making it even more difficult. The wind was blowing in off the chows. It drove the fire. There are reports some firefighters may have been trapped in the building. They weren't in the building more than two or three minutes when they ordered the media that they were trapped. Fire trucks are still arriving at the scene as are ambulances. Lieutenant Walsh took his men under his wing and was very hands-on. 18 people, including several firefighters, have been transported to hospitals from that night. Mr. Kennedy was also in the basement. The aggressive action helped the occupants out of the upper floors. Well, the nine alarm fire in the back bay have turned deadly. Two firefighters killed in the inferno. These two heroes ran into a burning building, got people out of the building. Citizens were saved. And that's what we do. We sacrifice our life for the citizens of the city of Boston. Today is just a sad day in the city of Boston. My heart goes out to the families. It's a tremendous loss for the department. It takes a tragedy for us to appreciate the work that the men and women of the Boston Fire Department do. The next time you hear some politician talk about their public service, remind them their public service is overshadowed by the public service that police officers and firefighters and EMTs make to all of us every day. Every day. Every day. Courage is the answer. It's a tragedy anytime we lose anybody. You know, we spend our, our careers training to keep ourselves safe. And anytime, you know, we lose somebody, we it truly is a brotherhood and we consider all those people our brothers and, and just a sad, sad day and, and obviously our thoughts and prayers to their families and uh, you know, everybody that was involved in that event. Oh, it's kept me awake nights wondering. Lie in the dark, just asking why. I've always been told you won't be called home until it's your time. I guess heaven was needing a hero. Somebody They called a May Day in a very short period of time. They weren't in the building, uh, I would say, again, the investigation will pan this out. They weren't in the building more than two or three minutes when they, when they ordered a May Day that they were trapped. When I try to make it make sense in my mind, the only conclusion I come to is a heaven.
firefighter's prayer. When I am called to duty, God, wherever flames may rage, give me strength to save some life, whatever be its age. Help me embrace a little child before it is too late, or save an older person from the horror of that fate. Enable me to be alert and hear the weakest shout, and quickly and efficiently to put the fire out. I want to fill my calling and to give the best in me to guard my friend and neighbor and protect their property. And if according to my fate, I am to lose my life, please bless with your protecting hand my children 